Welcome back, Quill Pack, to another ClickTunes tutorial. We'll be going over the UPW exporter setup. First off, you will need to go into your updating securities, go to down to four developers, and activate the developer mode. I'm going to be porting over my game, Brotastic, um, for this demonstration just to show you how everything works. I do have a debugging video already up on my channel. This will be replacing that video. Um, it will have more information about how to set everything up. And I will be using this uh, UPW uh, on Xbox development environment to kind of guide myself through. I already have everything set up, but if you want to read the literature yourself, I will post a link down below. If I can find my paint. This is what you will be installing. I already have everything installed. Um, it's just the Universal Windows Platform Development, um, I guess, workload. Yeah, workload. And you'll just click everything under there just to be safe. That's what I did. Um, I also installed the C again just to be safe. It works. Um, so down here, you'll probably need some of the mobile gaming um, workloads if you want to do Windows 10 phones. But I am focusing on. Xbox One devices today. So first things first, over in Click Team, you're going to change your build type to UWP Project. And I already have, um, after you change that, you can go up to File, Build, or right click and build, however you prefer. And I'm going to place this on my desktop. Okay, once that is done, you should have a folder on your desktop. I have my Brutastic folder over here. We are going to open up Visual Studio. Over here we are going to open a folder. And click the Brutastic folder without opening it. And press select folder. That's going to open up your, or sorry, select your game folder um, without opening the game folder. And then press open folder. And that's going to load everything you need. We're going to come over here, there's a solution button, we're going to go ahead and click that. Right click over here in this uh, where it says search solution folder or explorer. We're going to right click and go down to properties. And we're going to have to set this up a little bit. Um, we're going to use debug 64. We're going to go down to debugging. We're going to change this from local machine to remote machine. You're going to enter your machine name, which is on your Xbox One. So up here, you have your console IP and your console name. That's what you will be uh, getting that information. And I guess I can go through um, setting up the developer mode on your Xbox a little bit. Um, as far as setting up your developer mode on your Xbox, you are going to have to uh, download the developer kit activation. It's something like that. I will uh, post a link hopefully down below if I remember. And after you install that, you'll set it up. You can log in with your Xbox account. I personally made a new one. And you'll have to log in under your um, Visual Studio account. Um, I'm using my business email address, so everything is under my mrogers at quillstudio.net email address. Uh, my Xbox profile that I have on the Xbox One, my Visual Studio login is under that. After you put in that name, that machine name, or your IP address, you want to come down to the required authentication and change that to Universal uh, Unencrypted Protocol. And again, this is for testing. This isn't for actual um, exportation of your game or distributization of your game. If this is your first time, you're going to have to run your pen. So let me bring this over here again. Okay, so when you have your Xbox, um, as you can see, my account is logged in over here. I have my M. Rogers at Quote Studio account logged in. And to connect your Visual Studio to your Xbox, you'll have to show pen. It will bring up a pen. You'll enter it into Visual Studio when it prompts you to. And then it will connect everything. Press OK. Up here, we are going to change this to Remote Machine change this to 64 because uh, 86 isn't supported anymore. Um, after that, go ahead and run it, which is F5. Then over on your Xbox, it should just play. Given you don't have anything wrong with how you set up everything.
And there you go. Some of my uh, things are off just because I quickly put this together. But as you can see, I have my game Brotastic on my Xbox. And I'm just going to play this till I die. So I will see you guys in the next video. Um, up oh, there, I died. Later.